welcome to Preschool Storytime. I'm Miss Robin and hopefully you're ready for some song stories and but here we go. We're going to start with our uh, welcome song. We're going to say hello to everybody uh, around. So let's go ahead and start with our uh, tune if you're happy if you if you're happy and you know it. And it is story time is starting. Clap your hands. So we're going to get our hands ready for this one too. So she'll give me a little clap here. Here we go. Story time is starting. Clap your hands. Big claps. Story time is starting. Clap your hands. Big claps. Story time's begun. I hope that you have fun. Story time is starting. Clap your hands. All right, let's try our feet. Can you stomp them? If you're standing, go ahead. If you're sitting, try it then too. Story time is starting. Stomp your feet. Story time is starting. Stomp your feet. One, two. Story time's begun. I hope that you have fun. Story time is starting. Stomp your feet. One, two. All right, can you shout hooray with me? Let's try it. Story time is starting, shout hooray, hooray! Story time is starting, shout hooray, hooray! Story time's begun, I hope that you have fun. Story time is starting, shout hooray, hooray! All right, one more. This is how we know you're ready for story time. Story time is starting, take a seat all the way down story time is starting take a seat oh story time's begun i hope that you have fun but story time is starting so take a seat all the way down on your bottom good job everybody i can tell you're ready for stories now so we will start with our first book today which is called the three little fish and the big bad shark. And we are reading this book with the permission of Scholastic Inc. This was written by Ken Geist and illustrated by Julia Gordon. And here we go. This might sound very familiar to you once we get started. Goes like this. Once upon a time, there lived a mama fish and her three little fish, Jim, Tim and Kim. It is now time, said the mama, for each of you to make a home in the deep blue sea. So off they went. Splish, splish, splash. The first little fish, named Jim, swam away and met a seahorse playing in some seaweed. Can I have some of the seaweed so I can build a house? Take as much as you can carry, said the seahorse. So Jim gathered the seaweed and made a weedy little house. That's a nice house. Jim had just finished building his seaweed house when he heard the big bad shark knocking at the door. <coughs> little fish, little fish, let me come in. The little fish trembled and replied, not by the skin of my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch, and I'll crunch, and I'll smash your house in, roared the shark. So the big bad shark, he munched, and he crunched, and he ate up every bit of that seaweed house. And Jim swam away just in time. Whew. Soon Jim found his brother, and Tim said, don't worry, Jim. We fish stick together. You can help me build a sandy little house. Jim and Tim had just started to relax in the sandy little house when the big bad shark came knocking at the door. <coughs> little fish, little fish, let me come in. To which the brave little fish replied, not by the skin of my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch. And I'll crunch, and I'll smash your house in, roared the shark. So the big bad shark, he munched, and he crunched, 
until he got a sandy mouthful and the house crumbled. Jim and Tim swam and swam until they reached their sister Kim. Kim was setting up her house in an old wooden ship. The big bad shark destroyed our houses. Don't worry, you can live with me, said Kim, and they did. The three little fish had just finished lunch when they heard the big bad shark knocking at their door. <coughs> little fish, little fish, let me come in. To which the smart fish replied, not by the skin of my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll smash your house in, roared the shark. So the big bad shark, he munched and he crunched, but he could not smash that house in and all his teeth fell out. The three little fish were safe at last. And look, now that shark, all he can eat is seaweed salad. The end. Wasn't that a good story? Oh my goodness, does that remind you of the three little pigs? It reminds me of the three little pigs. And now we're going to hop on to a rocket ship. Can you go with me to the moon? Let's see if you can. We need two hands over our head like this. Can you rub your hands together? Fingers pointing towards the sky. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going very soon. If you want to take a trip, Climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Pew! Really high up into the sky. Did you get there? Did you get to the moon? I hope you did. Good job, everybody. Now sit down all the way down, crisscross applesauce. We're going back into another story about a truck full of ducks. Quack. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's see what happens with this truck full of ducks. And thank you to Scholastic again for um, giving us rights or permission to uh, read this book online. This book here is written and illustrated by Ross Baratch. And let's go ahead and dive in. Trucks Full of Ducks. Thanks for calling Truck Full of Ducks. We'll be right there. Munch, munch, munch. Oh no, the directions. Don't worry, ducks. We'll find the customer. Hmm. Did you call for a truck full of ducks? Not me. I called for the mail truck. Oh, hey. Did you call for a truck full of ducks? D -d -d duck truck? Not me, buddy. I call for a d -d 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 dump truck. Did you call for a truck full of ducks, Mr. Shark? No, dude, not us. We called for the ice cream truck. Hmm, who called for a truck full of ducks? Did you call for a duck full of trucks? Arr, it wasn't me, matey. I called for a truck full of crackers, not quackers. Did you call for a truck, duck, truck full of ducks? Sorry, Earthling. I called for a tow truck. 30,000 light years away, huh? This is gonna cost you. Well, who called for a truck full of ducks? Hey, there's a sign. 
You're in luck. Last potty for miles. <gasps> potty break. Hurry up, ducks. Back in the truck, the clock was ticking. Did you call for a truck full of ducks? Ah, no, no more ducks. I called for duck removal truck. Did anyone call for a duck, a truck full of ducks? Did you say truck full of ducks? That was me. Over here. Okay, ducks, out of the truck. See, I told you not to worry. Perfect timing. My dinner is over. Time for my bath. Come on in, ducks. Bath time gig, Stan. You know it, Frank. Thanks for calling Truck Full of Ducks. We'll be right there. See? And wow, those trucks went for a wild ride. All right, good job, everybody. Now it's time for breakfast. Who wants eggs? Raise your hand if you want eggs. All right, good job. So we have a story about a couple of eggs. Can you count with me? Show me one. Good job. All right, hands down. So one morning, I woke up early and no one was awake. I was so hungry that I decided to make some eggs. Mmm. So I got out the griddle and eggs and gave it a whack. Can you clap your hands like me? Let's give it a whack. Hear it crack. Drop it in the middle. One egg on the griddle. There's one. Mm, is that, that's for me. That one's for me, right? Do you want one too? Let's see. Next, my brother came downstairs. And he said, I want one too. So I took an egg and I gave it a whack. I heard it crack, drop in the middle. Two eggs on the griddle. There's one, two eggs now. But then my mom came downstairs and she wanted an egg too. So what did we do? We gave the egg a whack. Hear it crack. Drop it in the middle. Three eggs on the griddle. Show me three. Three eggs. One, two, three. How many eggs on the griddle? All right. And then dad came in the back door. He likes his eggs with toast. So we gave the egg a whack. We heard it crack. Drop it in the middle. Four eggs on the griddle. There we are, four eggs. Show me all four fingers, good job. Now my family's here and we can eat together. So we ate how many? Let's count them. One, two, Three, four eggs. And were those yummy eggs? What do you think? Do you like eggs? I like eggs. All right, good job everybody, good counting. Now we are going to finish off our story time with our final song. And what we like to do is use our song cue uh, so we can roll that song cube and find a good song for us to sing together. So Miss Robin is going to roll the song cube and let's see what we're going to sing together. Here we go. 
Ready? Go ahead. You can join me. If you can give a nice, good shove to our box. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. Here we go. We have head and shoulders. So let's see if you can do it with me. We're going to start with our head. Where's your head? Here it is. Head, where are your shoulders? Right here. And our knees and our toes. And you can stand up or you can sit down. It's up to you as long as you can touch all those parts. We're gonna sing it together. Are you ready? We're gonna start nice and slow. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and a nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I think we can go a little faster. I can, can you? Yes? Okay, let's try it a little faster. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and a mouth and a nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. All right, guys, last time we're gonna go super fast. So go ahead and join me if you can. Really, really fast through the whole thing. Let's try it one last time. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and a mouth and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job! All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Please look forward to future online videos. Check out our Facebook page for more information and Instagram. And we hope to see you again very soon. Bye guys.